Hello, I'm Doug Fox, Wayne County 4-H educator. And I'm Sophie Holscher, I'm the Wayne County student intern, here with today's 4-H update. Also, a little later today, joining our video is Michael Gord, the 4-H program assistant. All right, very good. Today we're going to be talking about some highlights from this past month and also sharing some upcoming um, events and reminders for our 4-H families and volunteers. So to start out, we want to thank um, all of our volunteers. We had over 300 volunteers that came out in February to attend our, our kickoff meetings at the Fisher Auditorium that really helps to go over program updates and other important um, details and announcements for the year. So we appreciate everyone that attended and participated in that. If you are a returning volunteer this year and you were not able to participate in one of those sessions in February, um, please make sure that if you have not already that you um, go and log in and access the video recording from that February kickoff and watch the video and, and then there's a short like four question really fun quiz to take at the end just to verify um, that you did participate and complete that annual required training. So make sure you do that. Instructions for accessing the video were emailed out a couple of weeks ago, but if you need those instructions sent to you again, just contact us at the extension office. We'd be happy to, to resend those to you. The Wayne County Junior Leaders Club has had some pretty exciting meetings in the past. Can you explain those to us? Yes, yeah, Sophie. We've had a lot of fun at our JL meetings. In February, we visited the Ag Museum and learned a lot about the history of ag tools and equipment and also played some fun games with our representative, Barry Jolliffe. Some of the stuff we did were like reaction ball games, team building activities, and we learned some dances too. Um, we also had a meeting in March where we were hosted by AgPro, which is formerly the um, the Shearer Equipment in Worcester, and we learned about careers in agriculture like um, sales and ag mechanics and how they fit with the agriculture industry. Awesome. That sounds like a lot of fun. The next Junior Leaders Meeting will be on Monday, April 1st at 7 p.m. at the Apostolic World Relief Center. Our Junior Leaders will be participating in a service project that evening, and we look forward to sharing some of those details for the April meeting soon. Michael, I understand you participated in the 4-H Making Extreme Can Counselors workshop. What can you tell us about that experience? Yeah, so here in Wayne County, we've really been gearing up for our camp counselor training, starting to kick off the whole camping season. And myself and two of our camp counselors went down to the statewide workshop to learn some new, new skills and share ideas with counselors across the state. We learned some more team building activities, some different games and some different theme ideas and other ways to kind of learn and make our camp better. Um, some other things we're really excited about um, is actually getting started in our own camp counselor trainings. Our first training is going to be March 7th and our second training is on March 21st. This year our camp will be from June 29th to July 3rd at 4-H Camp Ohio and all registrations will be due at the Extension Office by June 1st. And we're back with Doug to share some more updates and announcements. Thanks, Sophie. Um, we got a, a new program that we're kicking off this year. Um, we're pretty excited about it. It's called the um, Microsoft National 4-H Digital Ambassadors. And Wayne County was selected um, one of 26 counties in Ohio to participate in this program. And um, we shared some of this information with our volunteers back in February at the kickoff meetings, but um, we did just send a group, um, Briar Lehman, Charlie Bickett, um, and Scott Musser, and myself went down to Columbus for a training on this um, new grant and, and program. And so um, we're pretty excited to get this kicked off where we've got an application now that is up on our website for 4-H teens here in Wayne County. So anyone um, 14 and older, um, eligible to apply for the Digital Ambassadors uh, program and this will be an opportunity where over the next year and a half we'll be doing um, training together, workshops. We'd like to really focus on helping um, adults in our community learn more about um, how to use their smartphone or other kind of tech related skills, digital literacy type skills and trying to bridge this digital divide that exists out there. So um, we are looking for ideas, for topics, um, for sessions that this group of teens can teach, and also um, looking for groups that we can present this information to. So if you know of uh, a group 
of adults, maybe it's 4-H advisors, maybe it's another group that you work with in the community that might be interested in having the digital ambassadors do a program um, and you have any ideas on topics, just let us know, give us a call at the Extension Office or uh, reach out to us with an email or, or stop by and, and talk to us about it. Uh, we will also be hosting um, a 4-H online enrollment help session. We have two nights scheduled here at the end of March, March 27th and March 28th at the Buckeye Ag Museum. Um, and this is a chance where we'll have a couple of the, the digital ambassadors that just went to the training will be there to help uh, any 4-H family that needs help with their, their enrollment this year. And we're looking forward to a few more dates coming up um, later, uh, closer to June 1st for our animal identification and then closer to August 1st for fair entries as well. So excited about this new group and looking forward to getting them started. Um, a couple other quick reminders to share with people today would be for 4-H enrollment, uh, make sure that when you are in 4-H online and, and doing your enrollment that you actually select projects to take for this year. Um, sometimes people just do the enrollment part and forget to choose their projects. So uh, we do look at that and we will try to, to send back um, to the member any enrollment that does not have projects um, marked on there. And then also here March 15th, our 4-H activity fee scholarship applications are due. So any families out there that might be struggling a little bit and um, finding it difficult to pay the 4-H activity fee, um, do know that there is a scholarship fund available to help provide assistance. So um, make sure to fill out that form by March 15th. And then our 4-H activity fee and enrollments are due April 1st. That's our, our county deadline for 4-H enrollment to be eligible um, to participate in the Junior Fair, the Wayne County Junior Fair. So make sure you have completed your 4-H enrollment um, online as well as have um, paid the activity fee or applied for the activity fee scholarship. Um, and then lastly, to share with you today, um, a, another big event that's coming up here, April 4th, our Wayne County 4-H Legacy Dinner. And that starts off with a reception at 5.30. It's a really great opportunity to reconnect with our 4-H alumni and business community, friends of 4-H. Um, it's actually held out at the OSU Worcester campus um, at the Schistler Conference Center. And it will start, like I said, with a reception at 5.30 and then dinner at 6.30. And uh, tickets are on sale now. Um, well, we always get questions about do we get a physical ticket we don't actually print tickets for this we just get your names and put reservations in on a guest list so but you can purchase tickets by um, stopping in at the extension office or purchase them online and um, also sponsorships if you are a family or a business that might want to sponsor 4-h this year um, the legacy dinner is a great way to do that and there's varying levels of sponsorship and some different benefits that come along with that. And tickets and sponsorship are available now. You can purchase tickets online um, or stopping in at the extension office and then um, make sure that we have those ticket reservations in by March 15th. And we're looking forward to a great year and, and a lot of fun at the Legacy Dinner. Um, we'll, we'll be sharing more details this month through our Facebook and other social media about, about the Legacy Dinner as we get closer to it as well. All right. All right. Thanks for tuning in to this week's 4-H Update.